One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. tune this week, The House of the Rising Sun. This song's been done in blues, like Lead Belly. It's also been done in classic rock by like The Animals or Bob Dylan. This song is sometimes done in 6-8 time, but I chose to do it in 4-4, four, four, kind of make it a little more bluegrassy, make it a little more banjo friendly. We're going to work up two solos for this song that, that stick pretty close to the melody, one down the neck and one that works up the neck. I'm going to break down both solos note for note and then show you a bunch of backup I would do for this song. So this song's got some moving chords, E minor, G, A, C. It moves around pretty quick, so this is a great um, song to practice your backup on as well. You also get some cool E minor sounding licks in your backup. I'll break that down as well. And if you're watching the preview of this lesson, you can head over to my website, MikeHeadingMusic.com, and grab the full length lesson. You'll get access to watch all the videos and you can download the tabs and the practice tracks. All right, here's House of the Rising Sun in the key of E minor. All right, let's start breaking down this solo to House of the Rising Sun in the key of E minor. So let me play the first five measures and we'll start breaking it down. Here we go. Do that a few times. One more time, real slow. So we're going to start with our pickup in measure one. We're going to put our third finger on the second fret of the first string. You're basically going to be kind of getting ready to go into this E minor position, so your E minor chord. And I'm going to play on the and of beat one. I'm going to pinch strings uh, three and one with my, my third finger down. So one and, and then I'm going to hit the open fourth string twice. I'm going to use my first finger, or you could use your second finger, but basically I'm going to set up to walk into this E minor. So we're, we're kind of, the essence of the lick we're doing is, that's really what we're doing there. We're just adding a little pinch at the beginning to make it a little more bluegrassy. And then again, you're going to put your second finger down on the second fret of the fourth string for the beginning of measure two. If you wanted to take that pinch out, if it was giving you trouble, you, you could, and you just count one, two, but I like adding that pinch, very kind of J.D. Crow. One. Do that a few times. One. One. And then right here, you're going to put your second finger down. And this is measure two. You're going to do a forward reverse roll. So a string's four, three, one. And then open fifth string. And then backwards. First string, third string. And then you're going to slide your whole position up to the fourth fret and play that note with your thumb of your right hand. So you have, do that a few times. And if you have to lift your, your third finger up just a second early, you can, it, it's fine. what I'm doing there. Let's put the first two measures together. So we have one. One. And then measure three, we're going to stay right there. Pinch strings three and one. And then I'm going to slide from four to five with my second finger doing a forward roll. Four, three, one, T-I-M. And then hit the fifth string. And then pinch strings two and one. So you have One, two, and three, and four. So it's quarter notes at, at beat one and four. So one, two, and three, and four. And 
then for measure four, I'll break down the melody in a second. We're gonna go into this A chord. So I'm gonna use all three fingers. I'll show you why in a second. We're gonna put our second finger on the second fret of the third string, third finger up on the second fret of the first string, and first finger on the second fret of the fourth string. We're gonna play the third string, and then go up and do two forward rolls, four, three, one, four, three, one. So that's not too hard, we have. And then you're gonna roll your hand into a C chord. That's why I like doing it with, with three fingers there. We're gonna roll backwards into a C. So your, your second finger is gonna go up, your first finger is gonna go down to the first fret, um, second string. We're gonna play that note with our thumb, and then do third string, first string, and then a two, four slide on the third string. Let's break that down, so we have. So let's break down the melody to start. So we have, the melody starts on the low string, second fret, and then fourth fret, and then open third string, and then open second string, second fret third string, second fret low string, and then first fret. So we have, so that's kind of the opening melody line there. there is a house in New Orleans part. So again, we're, we're now, we're embedding that melody into a roll. So we have, and then right here, pinch. So we're pinching and then sliding into that same note and then pinching again and then rolling. So let's do that a few times. You can see how it fits in again. So we have, and then I pinch right here. I like to accent this. And then accent, pinch. So I think you'll be able to get this with some practice, but just think of the melody, remember. is basically four phrases. So that's phrase one. The other thing I, sh I mentioned earlier, why did I not go into my A chord with just my first finger, right? At first glance, it maybe looks like, maybe it looks like that's easier, right? But, it, but it's really hard to go backwards with this bar chord. So I very rarely use this bar shape unless I absolutely have to, because how do I get to this note cleanly when I have this finger down? I have to make a quick move backwards and it's gonna break that sound. Whereas if I do my A chord this way, I can just reach and connect that tone really easily. So that's phrase one, remember, so the melody is And then we have the next phrase, let me play that. Okay, so we have, I'll play the melody first, we have. That's the, they call the rising sun part. So we're gonna go up. We're rolling into that, instead of doing two single notes, we're rolling into that in measure five, right? And then right here, we're gonna do an open two hammer on with your third finger. Don't hammer on too quick. And this is a, a roll we're gonna use quite a bit in this song, and this is a roll I really like for highlighting the first string it's basically the opposite of the forward reverse roll. It's like the reverse forward roll. So you go backwards, M-I-T, and then you hit the first string again, and then you go forward, five, two, one, five. So you have. See how we're hitting that first string three times? So you have a lot of opportunities to highlight that note. 
do the right hand on its own if it's giving you trouble. We're gonna use that roll quite a bit in this song, especially when we go up the neck. The other thing with that hammer on is keep your right hand moving. So that's measure six. We roll into that after measure five, right? And then measure seven, open first string. Two, three hammer on on the second string, thumb middle. Your thumb's gonna come down. And then take your, your left hand off and do five, two, one, two. So T I M I there. So you have. Line that hammer on up so it's one, two, and three, and four, and do just the right hand again if it's giving you trouble. One, two, and three, and four, and. And then our measure eight, we're gonna slide with our second finger two to four on the third string, and then put our third finger up on four on the first string. So we have just basically like a, a two finger B7 chord. Again, it's this bar chord, but we're just not playing the whole shape. We're just sliding into it, playing the, the top three strings, three, two, and one. So we have. We're gonna roll forward four times on that same pattern. So one, two, three, four. And then we have four more notes we need. We're gonna do five, two, one, five, and slide back down to the second fret. So let's play that all together. So we have. Do that a few times, we'll do it a little faster in a second. So again, remember that's the call they call the rising sun, so also use those open strings in measure seven. Right here. That gives you time to basically get your hand in position for that B7. That gets you time that gives you time for your hand to get in position for that B7. It's also good practice on feeling how long two measures is. So measure eight, nine, one and two and three, four and one and two and three and four and again we're using four forward rolls which would give us 12 notes and then we need 16 notes total so we have four more notes at the end that's good practice so those are the first two phrases of the song right we have phrase one and then this is phrase two Phrase three, this is measure 10.